Hi, in this video, we will show you how to analyze the DTMF signal in zip calls by Wireshark. DTMF, whose full name is Dual Tone Multi Frequencies, as we know, DTMF are signals or tones that are sent when you press a telephone's touch keys. These tones are used to assess voicemail and navigate IVRs or attendant. Here is a classic DTMF keypad layout. You can see number 0 to number 9, letter A, B, C, D, and two special symbols on it. When using IVRs, normally we press a button on that keypad. With DTMF, each key press on your phone generates tones made of two specific frequencies. The frequencies were chosen to avoid harmonics. No frequency is a multiple of another. The differences between any two frequencies does not equal any of the frequencies. And the sum of any two frequencies does not equal any of the frequencies. Although DTMF works in normal human voice range, the combinations of inharmonic frequencies makes it hard for the human voice to impersonate. At times, you may find that the far end will not recognize or react correctly to the input you made from your phone. These problems are typically DTMF recognition issues. So we use Wireshark to help us to check if DTMF signal is correct or not. There are three ways these tones are sent and depending on your connection, may vary between one or another. Typically with VoIP DTMF tones are delivered either in-band or out-of-band via SIP or RTP signaling messages. For the three different modes of DTMF, how are they reflected in the SIP? Let's analyze the specific case. In mode number one, RFC 2833, in this mode, we can see DTMF signals directly in the SIP process package. Let's just say we make a phone call from part 5066 to part 1516. After the connection is established, we press 1 to 0 on the keyboard. You can see after a certain time interval, different DTMF signals are sent out and identified. And mod number two, in-band. In this mod, DTMF signals are transmitted directly as sound and can be restored via RTP. In this graph, you can visually see by the spectrums when secondary dialing is performed. Mod number three, SIP Inform. In this mod, DTMF signal is delivered as a SIP packet. The plain text can be seen in the SIP packet. Find the message body sections in the section initial protocol. You can see which number you dialed. Finally, we would like to explain how to view the DTMF signal of an analog phone. In our PBX menu, find the secondary options, troubleshooting, under the maintenance option. Choose reckoning tools, 
then you would get an audio file in WAV format. By observing the frequencies of the waveform, we can analyze the DTNF signal. All right, guys, this is what we in this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Get more details about troubleshooting. Check out our knowledge base. Get more information about system configuration. Please visit our document center. I will see you guys in the next one.